The University of Witwatersrand is one of 10 international institutions of higher learning to join forces with the United Nations Women's He for She Solidarity Movement. Um, this campaign looks to promote gender um, and uh, by basically rallying a billion boys and men to support the cause. Well, talking to us about this in studio, we are joined by Professor Jackie Dugard, who is from the WITS Director of Gender Equity Office. Good to have you. Welcome to the program. All right, give us a little bit more clarity on this. What, what, what exactly does this campaign do? Sure, it's, a, it, it's called a solidarity movement from UN Women. And what it does is it seeks to create leadership um, exchange and learning between 10 key um, academic institutions, 10 companies, and 10 statespersons. In fact, it's called the Impact 10 by 10 by 10. Yeah. And WITS is very proud because we've been chosen as one of the 10 universities around the world. Fantastic. I mean, if we look at the injustices that women suffer compared to their male counterparts, how bad is it? I mean, what is, what is the disparity looking like? It is. It's, there are all sorts of problems, and this campaign seeks to mobilize uh, solidarity around this. Some of the problems relate to gender-based harm, so we're talking about issues of sexual violence, sexual harassment, discrimination. Some uh, relate to attitudes such as intolerance, um, feelings that women can't achieve as, as much as men. And so this is around equity, it's around prevention of harm, it's around awareness raising, and it's trying to leverage the role of men in society because um, the UN believes, as, as most of us in the movement believe, that um, this cannot be resolved through women only. Yeah. I mean, would you say that, that this campaign is looking to almost radicalize the stance of gender equality? I think it is, and, and to mobilize around it. It's to raise awareness. It's to say that, for example, in South Africa, well, we may think we're 20 years on. Perhaps we see a lot of cabinet ministers who are women, perhaps even in companies, uh, some CEOs. But that's not the end of the story. Uh, like racial transformation, we still have a long way to go with gender transformation. Yeah, we certainly do. I mean, when you, when you look at issues that you know, we, we, we go through on a daily basis with women, and it, and it does start at a young level. That's why, I mean, yes, at school is where I suppose ideally it should, but I mean, being a part of a university, how are things going to change? What, what will this movement create? Yes. In the, in the, within the walls of the campus. Sure. So what the campaign has done or the movement has done is it said that every one of the impact champions, so Adam Habib Advitz, um as the vice chancellor, must um, commit to various uh, commitments around gender equality. Witz's commitments relate to um, staffing targets to make sure that there is greater equity at the higher levels of the university. It also relates to ensuring that there is a, an absolutely solid, effective um, program and system for dealing with gender-based harm. And also um, the third commitment is around raising awareness around gender stigma and um, gender discrimination. So it started last year. What's the reception been like so far? It started last year in New York uh, with UN Women and it was um, launched uh, in a high profile um, uh, meeting with Emma Watson at the UN General Assembly. Mm. Um, at WITS it was launched last week. Um, the reception has been incredible so far. So in fact at this point WITS is one of 10 institutions around the world. Um, there are five companies and five universities in this first round. Okay. And, the, and just finally which, which countries do we join? Well, um, as I say, so, so far there's only five universities and five companies. The five other universities so far, there will ultimately be ten universities, yeah. are from Canada, they're from uh, Hong Kong, um, they're from the UK, um, and uh, they are us. And, um, and it's to grow. It's yes, going to the grow. idea is it's going to grow and it's going to cover all of the regions. Fantastic. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank we you. We really do. I think it's a fantastic initiative. So uh, good luck. Thank you for talking to us, Professor. Jackie Dugard from the University of Advertisement. Uh, the uh, issue was the United Nations Impact or Campaign Impact 10 by 10 by 10 project. And WITS is one of those universities around the world. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this.